Listen, we grew up in a culture and a system and a society that was built to keep us in chains, that was built to put us in limitations, that was trying to convince us that we were meant to be less than who God created us to be. Amen. Even our school system is setting us up for failure. Don't get me wrong. Education is important. We absolutely need education, but you need education in the right things. And our school systems are not educating our people and our children in the right things. Our, our school systems are set up like prisons. They're set up for you to either go to jail or for you to work a nine to five job. They don't want you doing anything else. Listen, God is asking, where are my Jehu's at? Where are my Elijah's at that are willing to break those generational curses and break those demonic systems? Who are willing to break and disrupt the system in a way that brings light and revelation to the world? Disrupt the system and transform the system into being people that raise our children up to be the next Malcolm X's, the next Martin Luther King's, the next Billy Graham's. Amen. To be kings and rulers among nations. Check this out. I want to read to y'all 2 Kings chapter 2 verses 20 through 22. We're talking about Elijah. Bring me a new bowl, he said, and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out to the spring and threw the salt into it, saying, This is what the Lord says. I have healed this water. Never again will it cause death or make the land unproductive. And the water has remained pure to this day, according to the word Elijah had spoken. Listen. So basically, there was a curse over that city. And just by Elijah walking in his anointing, and carrying the power of God with him. Just by what he spoke. Just by his anointing. He was able to lift the curse off of a whole city. God is saying where is my next Jehu? Where is my next Elijah at? This willing to walk in divine purpose. Really to be create uh, courageous and bold. And unapologetically walk in divine purpose. You walking in purpose. It's not just about you. God is not just blessing you for you. He's blessing you so that you can bless nations. You walking in purpose. Thinking about how many lives that's going to change, how many souls God sent you to win. It's going to affect thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands. So you breaking those generational curses, breaking those demonic systems. It's going to reset the tone and the narrative for whole nations. It's going to reset the narrative for whole generations to come. Think about how many people are going to be affected just by you doing what God sent you to do. Something for you all to think about. Hey, I know there's got to be an Elisha. There's got to be a Jehu watching this right now. That's willing to destroy those demonic systems and raise God's kingdom. Who's willing to, to disrupt the system. Who's willing to break demonic systems and teach our people and teach our children to be leaders and rulers. To be governors and masters. Amen. Come on, let's get it.